Mr. President, the helicopter is ready to take you to the airport, sir. I'll be right there. Ugh, better tweet about this. Hey, everyone. Big D here. Getting ready to fly to Detroit. It'll be hashtag huge. You are listening to a special broadcast of the John LeBanc Show. The Adventures. Starring a lot of characters. Two men at a name. Based on a true story that is totally fiction. Written, produced, and directed by John LeBanc. Events happen in real time. Six all clear. All right, let's go. This is John the Rios of 920 WON in New York, sitting in for the banger. Tonight, we're going to discuss the president's Make Detroit Great Again Summit. He's leaving for the Motor City to view the contract of a wall that will separate Detroit from Canada. After heading to a rally at Landing Strippers Lodge, where the North Korean leader Kim Ding Dong is scheduled to make a speech, what does this mean for the city, the roads, or the hordes of hockey fans that flood over the border from Canada to watch the mediocre dead wing? Anyway, want to hear what you have to say about the Donald's business. So let's go to the phone. Gordy over in Bell River, Ontario. Do you think building a wall in the middle of Lake Erie will solve the border crisis? Everything ready? We just finished loading the temporal reflector drone. All I gotta do now is gear up. Suit up then. we Will do, John. Okay, now that he's gone, I want to talk to you about something. What, you couldn't say it in front of him? Well, it's about him. Okay, what about him? Are you sure you can trust him on this mission? Why shouldn't I trust him? Well, after letting out those two in the dungeon, I've been a little leery of him. What are you, a conspiracy theorist? Oh, I prefer to call it theory crafting. It's Wilbur. What if he's up to something? I thought we were out of pot. What do you mean? You sound a little paranoid, don't you think? I just want to make sure we look at all possibilities. All right, all geared up, fellas. Pre-launch checklist is complete, and I'm ready to take off. Roger, banger one. I dork. Open hangar doors. Acknowledge. Engaging cloaking device. 10-4. We'll be ready when you get there. Copy that, good buddy. Launch in three, two, one, engage. Once you're in, I reckon you better be quick. Oh, that's no problem for him. Keep quiet. As you can see, you'll be entering a heavily fortified facility. Oh, sounds like you, Darth. And this place ain't no joke, fellas. It has a complement of no less than 300 well-trained special operation forces protecting the island. Security is weakest at the southeastern corner. That's where you'll break through. There's an access point only 20 feet from the fence line. You should be able to enter easily from there. Oh, sounds fun! It won't take long for them to be alerted to our presence. We'll need a means of escape. When you're ready, I'll be at this location. And if you don't, come for us. Well, I guess you'll be upstream without a paddle. Oh, you never worry about that with me! Now let's synchronize our watches. I have five after. Um, does my new eye count? 
You know, it keeps time. That's a negative. Look, it even has speed variations. Holster your weapon, Captain. Oh, you're just jealous. Hardly. Oh, always a teaser, never a pleaser. So stay frosty, ladies. Okay, bye. With our combined abilities, we should be able to make short work of this mission. Oh, this is so exhilarating. Captain Rainbow, away! <laughs> Leroy, look at this. What happened, Uncle Shitty? Do I told you not to bring that dog in this house. Look what it did on the floor. Um, but it looks so hungry, Uncle Shitty. Yeah? You know what happens when you eat, don't you? Um, you get full? That too, Leroy. But then you gotta drop a deuce. Oh, I never thought of that, Uncle Shitty. You never think of anything. So can you clean that up for me? Um, I'll get Idork to do it. I don't care who does it. I just don't want to see it anymore. Um, Idork, we need you in the living room. She's on her way, Uncle Shady. Hey, leave me alone. Listen, don't smell there. Hey, let go of my leg, damn it. Leroy, get your dog. Oh, stop it now. Stop it. <laughs> Leroy, funny. don't let that dog lick your face. Um, how come, Uncle Shady? Where do you think he was licking just five minutes ago? Um, well... No, don't say it, Leroy. Just keep that in your brain. That's all I'm saying. Come on, this way. You know, Leroy, if you intend to keep that dog, you're gonna have to give it a name. Oh, that's a good idea, Uncle Shady. Well, that's nothing new, Leroy. Well, what should I call him, Uncle Shady? Are you sure it's a him? Well, I don't know, Uncle Shady. How do I tell? Take your right hand, okay, and lift up its tail, okay? Now take your left hand and go searching around and see if you can find anything dangling. Anything dangling? That's all I'm gonna tell you, Leroy. Otherwise, you're not gonna wanna do it. What am I looking for, Uncle Shady? I told you, you're looking for something dangling. Um, can I just look? Sure, Leroy, go right ahead, just look. Put your face down there instead of your hand. I don't like either choice, Uncle Shady. Forget it, Leroy. Just give it a generic name, and then you can consider it a Z. Um, what's that, Uncle Shady? That's those genderized people. I don't understand. That's fine, Leroy, don't worry about it. Um, what should I name you? <laughs> Leroy, I think it's trying to tell you something. What's he trying to say, Uncle Shady? I don't know. Do I look like I can speak canine or something? No, Uncle Shady. Listen, just take that dog out of here. Hi, dog, at your service. Clean that pile up on the floor, will you? Oh, jeez. Are you getting so old you can't even make it to the toilet? Listen here, that's not mine. You're going to need the bed soon. The dog had an accident. Oh, look. He's so cute. What's his name? Um, I haven't given it one yet. <laughs> Leroy, please take that dog out of here. Okay, Uncle Shady. Bye. Come on, puppy. That was so adorable. Listen here, Tin Can. Just focus on your assignment. Whatever. Well, I got a few minutes before Godzilla's on. Let me see what's on television. Up next on the Dr. Bill Show. Women and their vagina. Vagina. Now here's your host, Slick Willie himself. Dr. Bill! Maybe you all should be here for this. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for joining me this evening. It's great to see all you beautiful women in the audience tonight. Some of you wearing nice blue dresses. And I have to say, it brings back some great, great memories. I, I, I mean, memories. Sorry about that. A little Freudian slip. But, it, you know, even Freud liked a nice big cigar. Sorry, I digress. I just want to let each and every one of you know that anytime you want to, you can definitely sit on my presidential staff. It's been a long time since anyone sat on my staff. Before I begin, let's give a big old round of applause for our opening number, the cigar dance by our very own lady humidor dancers. You girls were absolutely fantastic. I wonder if that's anything like a pole dance. We have a special treat for you tonight. These two women are currently rising up the GooTube flagpole faster than an intern between press conferences. Let's give a big warm Dr. Bill Show welcome for Diamonds and Rough. Damn, this should be called Fat and Fatter. Oh, baby, you're looking so sexy tonight. Well, before we talk about your vaginas, do either one of you want a cigar? Mmm, pull it out, sugar. <laughs> yeah, me first, baby. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go ahead and save that for after the show, shall we? Mm -hmm. My first question, ladies. How did you come up with the name Diamonds and Rough? Well, for me it was simple. 
Most women be smooth and soft, but not me. I prefer to be different. I don't even shave my legs. Or anywhere else, for that matter. You know that, mama. <laughs> so that's why I call myself rough. That's just nasty. And diamonds are a girl's best friend. As you can see, I wear genuine imitation diamond cubic zirconia in my ears, my nose, my eyelids, and even a few other places I shouldn't tell you, since this is a family show. But if you want to see it later, Bill, I'll be happy to show you. Absolutely. You should have called yourself a Tilly the Ugly. Since I always come first, we named ourselves Diamond and Rough. Well, why do you come first? Oh, she's got more stamina, honey. You ain't lying there. <laughs> you gotta be putting some work in if you's gonna be playing with this rough. She went through three men just last Friday. <laughs> and ain't even one of them even came close. That's a shame, honey. Them jive-ass homies be limping around crying like, oh, you broke it. It don't be working no more. I know the feeling. And I'd be like, it wasn't working in the first place. So take your sorry ass home and send your thick schmeckle brother's ass over to see if he can Tom Cruise me in my snappies. Mission Impossible. Now there's a sexy man. <laughs> He's almost as sexy as you, Bill. So tell us a little bit more about your vaginas. Blah, blah, blah. Well, All right, I put the dog out, Uncle Shady. Did you tie him up? I did, Uncle Shady. Did the movie start yet? No, we got a few minutes. I just started scanning through the channels. Now sit down and shut up. Okay, Uncle Shady. Do you guys need eye dork any longer? I don't know. Let me ask. Tin can. What do you want? Are you done cleaning up the doo-doo? Yes, project is complete. Okay, thanks. Yeah, geek, we're done. Oh, that's good, because I need her help. I, dork, I need your assistance in the lavatory. Who made the mess this time? Oh, no, not like that. I have some experiments I want to do. Oh, good. I'm sick of cleaning up after you guys. Excuse me, do you have to be so loud? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. I just felt like bitching for a moment. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Come on, I, dork. Acknowledge. Oh, hello, little doggy. How are you today? I didn't know you had a dog. Oh, me neither. Oh, you so cute. What do you What do you want? Tell me, what do you want? Oh, do you want me to take your chain off? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Okay, well, hold on a minute. Almost done. There you go. Hey, wait. Please come back. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Yo, man, you better run after your dog before it gets run over. Oh, he runs very fast. <laughs> go, man, go. Please come back, doggy. Please. I got to go to work. Talk to you later. Look out. <laughs> right this way, Mr. President. Ah, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, that's a new Air Force One, sir. Because of the national emergency, we had to bring this one out of storage. Ah, uh, this is really cramping my style. Hang on a minute. I gotta tweet this out. Hey, everyone. Big D here. I told you there was a national emergency, and my critics didn't believe me. But as you can see, even I have to make sacrifices. Okay, gotta take a picture. How do you do that, Ditsy? Press the button at the bottom near the middle, sir. Oh, we don't have time for that. I meant on your phone, sir. Oh, got it. Say a mac and cheese. Now let me save it. What was I saying? Oh, right. If I don't get my wall soon, I'm gonna hashtag pay for it myself. Hashtag impeach that at Nancy the Wicked Witch. Hey, Ditsy, did I use the best words? You did a great job, Mr. President. Okay, send it. This way, Mr. President. And I don't even get paid for this damn job. There's your seat, Mr. President. Oh, do we have any Mickey D's in this joint? I had the Secret Service pick it up on the way in. What would you like, sir? Oh, do we have any huge Macs? We do, sir. Oh, I love huge Macs. Bring me three and a diet beverage. Oh, I forgot. Major Shits has joined us on the flight and asked to see you immediately, sir. Who's that? Major Shits, 
the commander of Space Force? Oh, that reminds me. I gotta drop a deuce. Tell him I'll see him after we take off. Um, he's a she, sir. Oh, I had no idea. Just bring me two huge Macs then. Don't want to look bloated. Mr. President, we're loaded and ready to take off. Oh, that's great news. Take us to the D. <sighs> Don't go in there for a while. Oh, I know. Those bean burritos do it to me every time. No kidding. Oh, that reminds me. Eindork, begin pre-launch sequence. Acknowledge! Just a reminder, the further you obtrude into the future, the less likely verbal communications will be clear or constant. But I built a backup into the CL to compensate for the time reflection variance. Eindork will be directly connected to the CL matrix, which will allow for digital communication in case verbal communications are interrupted. Good thinking. I thought so. Did we ever come up with a conclusion on the physical effects of the time reflection? Um, not really. Data was inconclusive. I left a barf bag under your seat in case you needed it. Thanks for looking out. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right, is there anything I can do? Oh, just suit up. I have a couple more computations to make before launch. Gotcha. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, let's see what's on the UFO channel. Over 70 years ago in Roswell, New Mexico, the most famous alien space crash in the history of the world happened. Or did it? Hmm, this looks interesting. Tonight we investigate Roswell's second crash site. Second crash site. I'm George Boring, and you're watching From Theory to Conspiracy. Aliens. UFOs. Spaceships. Crop circles. And extra sexuals. What's that, Uncle Shady? You don't want to know, Leroy. You don't want to know. Recently declassified information about the Roswell crash suggests that a crash did happen, but not as the official story would have us believe. Professor Yafoul Hajist Hoax has a different theory. The redactions made it difficult to understand what really happened that night in New Mexico, but on July 7th, 1947, something crashed in the desert, and whatever it was, it may have not been aliens. Do you think it's those aliens from a few years ago? Doesn't matter what I believe, Leroy. The TV's gonna tell you what we all should believe. Professor Hoax is the author of the book, They Came From The Future, a thrilling alternative tale that gives a different account of that night's events. I should write a book. What would you call it, Uncle Shady? <laughs> it came from my book. There have been books written about a second crash site, detailing how alien bodies were recovered. Some authors have even speculated that a few of the aliens were alive and taken by the government. I believe they weren't aliens at all. They were from the future. They were from the future. How could they come here from the future, Uncle Shady? In a time machine, Leroy. Didn't you ever watch that show back in the day with Foxy Michael J? Um, I don't think I saw that movie, Uncle Shady. That's why you don't know anything, Leroy. Mr. Hoax is a professor of psychological social welfare at Brigham Dumb University in Nothing, Arizona. And if his theory is correct, these time travelers came for a reason. The biggest question is, if they are from the future, why did they travel back to 1947? What were they doing? And did they succeed? Did they um, succeed? What do you think it was, Uncle Shady? I don't know, I wasn't there. Professor Hoax admits we may never find the answers to those questions because of the secrecy of the events. It's unlikely the public will ever know the real truth behind the events of July 7th, 1947. Um, do you remember hearing about that when you were a kid, Uncle Shady? I'm not that old, Leroy. Whatever happened, we only know what they're telling us. You know, Leroy, I'm thirsty. This is George Boring. Thank you for watching From Theory to Conspiracy. You want to go get me a beer? Okay, I'll be right back, Uncle Shady. And grab some chips, too. Now I can have some peace and quiet. Hello, Mr. President. Hang on a minute. Ditsy. Yes, Mr. President. Bring me that third huge Mac. And next time, make sure I understand what you mean. About what, sir? Just bring me the huge Mac and make it quick. Sorry about that. Is there something wrong, sir? Not anymore. I was just expecting someone who looked pretty. I mean, different. But isn't that what we're going for? 
So what's so urgent, Major? Mr. President, I believe we have an imminent threat at Area 420. Earlier, we intercepted a transmission to this person. He's known to the Detroit law enforcement as Captain Rainbow. Uh, the gay crusader. A vigilante of sorts. Bunch of weirdos. He is believed to be the mastermind of the Detroit uprising of 2016. Here you go, Mr. President. He went underground until a few months ago. Thanks, Dancy. When he and an unknown associate mysteriously turned up in Colorado. Oh, that's interesting. One of our ABC agencies has been tracking him ever since. And who called this, uh, this... Whatever. We're unsure at the moment, but we're confident we will find out. Very good, Major. Speaking of briefings, I've got to make a tweet. Hey, everyone. Big D here. Just had a big league meeting with Major Shits. Everything went smooth. Hashtag, it's galactically huge. All right, I got to drop a deuce. Yeah, excuse, Major. Yes, Mr. President. Hello? Hi, John. It's me. Ditsy? Well, who else would I be if it's not me, John? Aren't you traveling with the president? Oh, you know I am. Then why are you calling? Why do you think I'm calling, John? I have something to tell you. But if you're going to be a jerk, John, I'll let you find out the hard way. Find out what? I don't know if I want to tell you now. Well, is it important? Are you saying I don't call for important things, John? No, I'm not saying that at all. Then what are you saying, John? They can trace this call. Stop being so paranoid, John. Fine. What do I owe the pleasure of this call? Well, I'm not calling for pleasure, John. That boat sailed for you a long time ago. I'm calling because I overheard you-know-who talking about you-know-where with the commander of you-know-what. Was I supposed to understand that? Because I didn't. Clean your ears out, John. I'm talking about the thing you're doing tonight. Well, don't you think you should have waited till you got here? It was urgent, John. Jeez. Okay, what's so urgent? There's some top secret stuff going on down there, John. And I think it's about the data I collected. What data? Ask the hillbilly, John. Maybe he should be the leader, John. Since he obviously knows more about what's going on. Anyways, I hear someone coming. I better go now. Bye. All right, here we go. Kind of spooky. Mickey Mouse Production, in association with Marvelous Studios, presents Godzilla vs. Batman. Starring Godzilla. Also starring Samuel Davis Jackson as General Swollen Bauer, Willie Myth as Captain Fresh Prince, and George Luna as Batman. You're gonna need something bigger than that for Godzilla. Approaching target. All wings toward it. Almost in the right, man. Terminator standing by. Bunkerino standing by. Lock your loads into attack position. That's what she said, man. Amen, brother. Oh, look at the size of that thing, man. Oh, man. Nobody told me we were attacking Godzilla. You can't handle the truth, princess. Just saying, it would have been nice to know. Quit your crying, Cupcake. This ain't no Disney movie. I think we need to switch the missiles, man. Negative. Due to budgetary restraints, the president is only authorized use of a 50 caliber. Command said what? I repeat, engage with a 50 caliber. What you been smoking? That's Godzilla. Ain't no 50 cal machine gun gonna hurt Godzilla. Come on, man. I got a hundred year old grandmother that claims less than you. Maybe King Kong, but definitely not Godzilla. Stop being such a pussy. Prepare to engage. All right, buzzards. We're red and free. Here goes nothing. It's showtime.
around about damn time. But I swear, you better kill that overgrown lizard this time. It's costing us money, a fortune. But we weren't moving it. Target lock, Fox 3. Get back, hey, Matt, look out. Oh no, you didn't shoot that blue stuff at me. Yeah, yeah. That was a close one. Foul missiles. What the hell do you think we've been doing? Hey, Matt, look out. Yeah. Damn. Jimmy just got barbecued. Somebody owe me a plane. Oh man, we lost another one, man. We dropped black flags, man. Costing way too much. Abort mission! I repeat, abort mission! Buzzers, time to get the hell out of here. No problem, Mo. Huh, I just got a strange call from Ditsy. Um, what do you mean by strange? Well, that's the thing, I really don't know. How we doing? Oh, we're just about ready to make contact with Banger One. Good, because something's going down. Banger 1, this is home base. Banger 1, this is home base. Do you copy? I'm reading it loud and clear. I know we're all aware of the dangers surrounding this mission, but when you get there, keep the motor running, just in case something unexpected comes along. Why did you say that? Well, according to Ditsy, Area 420 was the focus of a meeting between the president and some top official. Well, did she say what it's about? Well, that's where she was vague. Just stay on your toes. Well, I'll be tipping as fast as I can, Joan. Trust me. She also mentioned obtaining additional information for you. I'm a little curious. What was it exactly? Just additional information on the base, Joan. What kind of info? Nothing to worry about, Joan. Just trying to be thorough. Cover all my bases. Roger. I'd say abort the mission, but we need the supplies badly. I concur with that. And it'll take weeks to recalculate all the data for the next attempt. And we don't have a few weeks. Can I reflect further into the future? I might be able to push four minutes, but that's inadvisable. Why? Time reflection is tricky. You're essentially using voids in time to see the future. One wrong calculation or some unseen temporal event would up the risk factor substantially. How long do you need to make your adjustments? Oh, I can have that adjusted in just a few moments. Do it. Okay, Wilbert, it's a go. How long before you're in place? Ten minutes or less, Joan. I'll contact you as soon as I'm in position. Roger that. Banger one out. Oh, look, the bat cave. Nothing better after a long, hard day than a hot bubble bath. Oh, God, a naked Batman. Who the hell are you? Oh, how rude of me. They call me Dr. Strangelove, and this is my assistant, Juan. Don Juan. Think you're in the wrong place, fella. You look for gay man, not Batman. No less than the fate of the world is at stake, and we need assistance. Why do you gotta bother me right now? Batman, Godzilla is coming. Can it wait till I'm done with my bubble bath? It cannot. Godzilla is coming. Fine. This better be good. Tell me his name again. Godzilla. We will destroy all life as we know it. You sure this is not fake news? Batman, please. Told you I was coming. No, please put on a robe or your cape or something. Well, sorry, I forgot I was naked. Come on. We shall wait for you outside. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, hurry up. Hey, Mohammed. What do you want, Boris? Look at this beautiful bazooka. Could we bring it? Yes, yes, bring bazooka. No, no, go, go. Go, we close, we close, go, go. Hurry up, guys, come on, we hurry. About this machine gun, looks beautiful. Could make lots of noise. Yes, bring machine gun, bring two. What about this vest? I don't have anybody to wear it. My cousin Dali couldn't make it. Do you know anybody on short to notice? Hmm, my brother's not here, he's gone. He go see my family. Come on, let's go, go, go. Booby, let's go. No, 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 come on. Grab, yes, grab the box. Go, Booby, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, uncle, uncle. Uh, what? You're not supposed to work tonight. Oh, I'm not here for work, uncle. Oh, good. Mm. What do you want? I'm very busy. We have to go to airport soon. Oh, is Uncle Habib coming to visit? No, but I should have invited him. What are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm looking for a doggy. Is it an ugly racist dog? No, no, uncle. It's a little furry puppy. Oh, I think Boris saw that. Boris. 
Boris, come here. The wolf. Abu, looking for a dog. You step in dog poop, didn't you? Look at my beautiful new shoes. Poop, look, look, poop. All over the bottom. Look, look. Oh, let's go, man. Mohammed, let's go. Abu, you want to come? Oh, I'm sorry, uncle, but I must find the doggy first. Then I think I might go home and get some sleep. I'm very, very tired from running. Mm, too bad. Your brothers would be proud. Oh, are they coming, uncle? No. Then why would my brothers be proud? Oh, you see later on TV. Now go. Find your racist pooping dog. Okay, uncle. Say hello to everyone for me. Okay, let's go. Close the truck. Booby, you drive. Booby, Booby, you drive. You, you, yes, you. No, 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 no. He can't drive. You drive, Booby. Lava, lava. Oh, too fat. Boris, you want to ride in car with me? This is beautiful car. Hello, Batman. How may I service you? Give me all the information you can on this villain named Godzilla. Checking FBI database. No records found. What about Hillary Clinton's emails? Those emails have been deleted. You gotta Google to it. Confirmation. Godzilla. A giant monster with conflicting origins. The first sighting of Godzilla happened in Japan in 1954. Since then, he's both attacked and defended Japan against many different kaiju. Bless you. Pardon me? You sneeze, so I said bless you. I did no such thing. Is you dead? You were at you. I said kaiju. What's that? Giant monsters or titans. Oh, so this Godzilla is an anti-hero. One could assess that. Oh, jeez, another dead fool. God, I'm sick of these type of characters. Just pick a side already. Nerd Eye, I'm here. Roger! Ready to deploy temporal reflector drone. Uploading digital connection. Connection established. John's loading into the pod now. Proceed at your discretion. 10-4, good buddy. Hello, sir. Hello, PH. Happy to be working with you again. Yeah, but this time it's for real. It's always real for me. Make sure you buckle up. Don't worry, I'm doing it right now. I shouldn't have had that third bean burrito. That is hip up. Oh, thanks. Strapped in, nerd eye. Copy that. Disengage locking clamps. Confirmed. Locking clamps retracted. Begin chamber compression. Ready on our end. Compression complete. Loading pod into the chamber. Acknowledged. Engage heads-up display. Up and running. Import all preferences from interface 17. You got it. Uploaded and ready. Begin running pre-launch checklist. Calibrating. Stand by. System diagnostic complete. All systems operating within optimal parameters. Okay, nerd eye. Looks like we're ready to go on this end. Roger! Begin energy transfer in three, two, one. All systems go. Looking good. We're ready to begin the countdown to launch. Energy levels at 100%. Godspeed! Manual controls at the ready. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Let's rock and roll. How's it handling? Well, that's expected. Remember, you got that barf bag if you need it. Approaching first reflection vortex. Temporal reflection of one minute achieved. Okay, set next reflection point. Temporal reflection vortex plotted. Okay, engage. I'm beginning to encounter latency in the communication. Implement backup 
Open Protocol. Oh, oh Roger! Who? Oh, he's the secondary comlink. Who? Oh, it begins transmitting at regular intervals. Establishing digital synchrony. Oh, Boosting signal. Yeah. Link confirmed. Oh, Approaching second temporal vortex. Prepare for deceleration. Ready when you are. Temporal reflection of two minutes achieved. All right, give me a second here to double check my calculations. Double check? I thought you did that already. Well, you didn't give me much time to confirm my data. I don't want to lose you in a time void. PH, do I want to know what that is? Don't ask. Okay, I won't. Everything checks out here. You can begin the next stage of time reflection. Acknowledged. PH, prep for the next stage of reflection. For you, I am always prepared. Engage. We have a red light on the ventral stabilizer. Did you catch that? Roger, it's probably nothing. Approaching next reflection point. Have you command? Temporal reflection of three minutes achieved. Prepare for final jump. Plotting. Let's do this. Did you just fart? Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't think you noticed. The air toxicity level has risen by 22%. Oh, I think I'm finally getting used to this. Are you referring to the smell? Oh, uh, no. I didn't think so. Nobody could get used to that. Reflection vortex exit approaching. Hey, to get that out of stage. Temporal reflection of four minutes accomplished. I run a quick diagnostic. Your wish is my command. Oh, good. Everything checks out. All right, let Nerdite know we made it. As you wish. You've <sighs> arrived with minutes to spare. Oh, it's about time. There's only two centuries. Good. We'll penetrate the perimeter behind the bush. Then I'll use the force to subdue them. You know, I like your plan and all, but I think it sucks. So I'm gonna do my plan. And what is your plan? Did you ever see the movie Butt Crack Mountain? No, it's called Brokeback Mountain. Is that the movie where Dong Wong dropped the bar of soap in a prison? I don't recall that in the movie. Well, then we're talking about different movies. And what does that movie have to do with your plan? Oh, nothing really. Focus on the objective, Captain. You know, focusing really isn't my thing. I like to swing it and see what happens. It's more thrilling that way. This plucky attitude of yours is going to hamper the mission. We need a plan of attack. Oh, I have a plan. Attack! Captain Rainbow, away! Oh, hello, boys. What the hell is that? I've got something special for you. Please. Guess I'll have to loo that up next time. Now keep quiet, or I'm gonna have to whip you again. Oh, it's all clear, Darth. Impressive. You know, Darth, I think you put out a few pounds. It's those triple chocolate chip donuts at Timmy Ho's. I can't stop eating them. Oh, I love them too, but maybe you should cut back. Because in this light, it looks like the Death Star is growing out of your stomach. I heard of a bulge before, but that's ridiculous. This is enlightening. After this mission, I'll commit and join Game Watchers. Oh, can I come too? We shall see. I'll use my saber to breach the entrance. Oh, why do you always talk dirty? Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Try it. Come on now. Um, Apparently, my saber is unable to penetrate. You know, that's been happening a lot lately. Plan B. We need a passcode. Oh, that's no problem. Hi, I know you're all tied up. Do you have a passcode on you? Mm -hmm. I'll make you a deal. We can do this the hard way, or we can do this the harder way. You got it? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take this out of your mouth. Uh, it, it's in my pocket. Oh, don't move. I'll get it. Is this it? Oh, no, that's your baby carrot. Don't screw yourself. Oh, that's a new idea. Darth, have you tried that? Captain, locate the passcode and let's go. Oh, right, I forgot. People say things and my mind just goes 
all over the place. Oh, here it is. Here you go, Darth. Here, put this back in your mouth. That'll keep him quiet. Now you boys be good. We'll be back in a bit. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Did it work, Captain? Oh, I knew it would. I just have a way with people. Welcome to Dimmy Ho's. How may I help you today? There's our boo, Uncle Shady. Yeah, I still don't understand why he got the pot in the movie over me. Maybe they like the way he said the lines, yeah, Uncle Shady. How hard is it to say, welcome to Timmy Ho's, what the hell does your stupid ass want? Um, I don't know. Listen, just shut up so I can watch a movie. Batman, Commissioner Boredom is calling on the bat phone. He says it's urgent. Okay, put him on. Yo, Batman! Godzilla's burning down the city, man! It's like Devil's Night all over again! Where the hell are you, bro? Just picked up a French vanilla cappuccino and triple chocolate chip donut at Timmy Ho's. Oh, man! There's always time for product placement in a big budget movie. Help us, Batman, please! You're our only hope! I'm on my way. Here you go, sir. Keep the change. Primary scan is complete. No anomalies to report. Ready to deploy reflector pulse ray. Begin grid by grid visual reflection surveillance. As you wish. Ready reflection sonar pulse. Fully charged. Target grid 23. Already locked on. Fire. Creating virtual imagery. <laughs> this text pretty sweet. I am detecting a faint sound anomaly in grid 13. Let's hear it. Any clue what that is? Unable to distinguish with any certainty. Redirect the RSP. Stand by. Redirection complete. Fire. Virtual imagery ready. Something is definitely happening at the base. I concur. Localize area four and enhance. With pleasure. Hmm. That didn't help much, did it? That is the understatement of the year. Well, any suggestions? We could take a closer look. I was afraid you'd say that. All right, fire up the boosters and inform NerdEye of our intentions. Message sent. And engage. How much further? Through this door, and one level down. Level two. Holy shit, Jack. I got this one. <laughs> oh, can I join it? Here it comes. That's three. I told you I had him. I just couldn't pass up the three-way. I distracted him. I deserve a half a point. I guess that's okay for now. But it's under protest if we tie. Any more weapons discharges, and our cover will be blown. Stealth is the key to this mission. I prefer being out of the closet anyways, instead of all the sneaking around. Through here. Oh, look, they're having a party. Hi, everyone. What the hell? Cram I do we're in protection. Oh, 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 yes, uh, oh, 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 oh. Hey, sir, remember that movie I was talking about? <laughs> That's my eyebrow doing that. See? All too easy. Oh, you know me. I don't like to play hard to get. I was referring to his entering. You know, Darth, this reminds me of New Year's Eve all over again. You and I have a distinctly different memory of New Year's Eve. Welcome to the restricted area. We're in. Oh, isn't this a soiree of pleasures? But we are here to harness one with a specific purpose. Oh, I have a special purpose. Welcome to Area 420. I'm your virtual assistant, Jenny. My access code is 8675309. How may I assist you? Hello, Jenny. I'm looking for a specific belt. One that teleports. Locating. Project Stone Emitter. Location. Chamber 69. Oh, that's my lucky number. You wait here. I'll retrieve the belt. Okay, but don't take long. You know how bored I get. Oh, what's this button do? Stone Soldier Initiative. Stone Logic. And Stone. You have 
have entered a restricted area. Level 13 top secret access required. Please enter passcode. Here's your access. Access granted. This is all going according to plan. Soon, all of my machinations will be realized. Please enter passcode. Now we'll see if this code is worth all the trouble. Access granted. There you are, my precious. Hello? We've detected an unauthorized entrance. Oh, you know that happened to me once. Just go with it. Is everything all right? Oh, we're fine. Doc won't take long. He never does. We're sending a squad down. Oh, that sounds exhilarating. Who is this? What's your operating number? Oh, I don't give my hotline number out to strangers. Mission accomplished. Oh, I like that utility belt. And this one matches my cape. Oh, it does look cute on you. Let's move. Intruder. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you, we're probably going to have some company soon. What did you do? Nothing disgusting. Come on, this way. You know, Darcy, you've been cranky all night. Is it that time of the month? Shut up. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. You may have compromised this mission. Oh, I've been in tighter spots before, and I've come out smelling like roses. Well, except that one time with Dean, he was always a little dirty. Spare me another story of one of your past escapades. Oh, that reminds me. I probably need to charge my eyebrator soon. Shh, someone is coming. Oh, where do you see that? Over there. Oh, I thought you meant something else. It's time we split up, Captain. I'll meet you at the rendezvous. <laughs> oh, that's a nice trick. We have an intruder. Level two, section six, all clear. Tent four, continue your sweep. Copy. We'll link up at the vending machine in section 13 and redeploy from there. Think this is another drill? Maybe the brass has nothing better to do. Well, I sure do. Godzilla vs. Batman is on right now and I'm missing it. Got any tickets? Got any tickets? Got any tickets? I'm a scout and tickets. Got a ticket? Did you see it, doggy? Get away, you bought me, man. Get away. Over there? Get away. Okay. Time to make Ooh. some money here. Get away. Go, go, go. Welcome to the landing strippers. We're having a party tonight. Honey's gonna be inside. Excuse me. 20 bucks to get you in. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? What do you want, boy? Have you seen the doggy running around? Oh, there's lots of dogs in there. You can have your pick. There's doggies in there? Plenty of dogs. Some are real homely looking, too. Um, like a little doggy you pet? I don't know. I'm not supposed to touch the merchandise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move out of the way, boy. Move out of the way. Here comes the doctor. <laughs> How many goes tonight, Dr. Bill? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Oh, this is a small part of nine, huh? <laughs> well, ladies, enjoy your evening. I know Dr. Bill is. You ain't lying there. Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. We have a party tonight. You want to come in? Can I bring my friends, too? 20 bucks to get you in. Oh, honey, don't you got a baby mama discount? Well, maybe one of my baby mamas, but you ain't one of them. 20 bucks to get you in. Oh, here you go, babies. Thank you, and have a good evening. See, I told you, boy. Lots of dogs in there tonight. Well, can I go in and see? 20 bucks to get you in. Are you sure the doggy went in there? Now, when you say a dog, you ain't talking about an ugly woman, huh? No, I mean a little furry dog. Little, like this. They run around like this, run and go. <laughs> oh, I saw one of those run by just a few minutes ago. Which way? Yeah, he was heading towards the airport. Did you say the airport? But I don't think we call ourselves landing strippers. We're down by the airport. We got strippers. So we call them landing strippers. I think it's a good name, personally. Why would he go there? Maybe he had to catch a plane. Ooh. Now, you want to go in or what? No, I got to catch the doggies. But get going because we don't allow loitering around here. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Never fear, Batman's here. Batman. Hey, what's up, gay love? I mean, strange love. Yo, Batman. What's up? What took you so long, man? Every city burned down. Sorry. 
forgot there was construction. Batman, what do we do? Looks like we need a team. Batman, we have a team. Who's in this team? We have the best superheroes money could buy. Let me introduce you to... Don't say another word. Can't stand your voice. I'll talk to him. Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Mr. Fabulous. Batman, come on, man! And what's her name? I be Fat Woman's. That you are. What can you do? Oh, I can sit on people. What about you? Mui, mui. Misa Jar Jar Hawks. What's your name? Misa Jar Jar Hawks. What can you do? Misa like to smash. Godzilla burning up the town, man. What do we call ourselves? Oh, man. Come on, Batman. Hang on a minute. We gotta figure this out. Let's call ourselves Batman. What? I don't think so. What's wrong with Batman? Me said no life. Good name. Batman. Let's attack that beast. Batman, assemble. Negative power. 10-4. Who do you think is going to win? Who else? Godzilla. I think Batman can take him. Bro, you're tripping. Batman's just a man. He beat Superman. With kryptonite. And besides, Superman is just a man, too. Godzilla is a god. Kryptonite will him. Section six, level I was wondering if one of you strapping young men could tell me how to get out of here. No? How about a place I can plug in my vibrator? That's him, Sarge. Identify yourself. Oh, I'm Captain Rainbow. Who? Captain Rainbow. The Gay Crusader? Uh, who is this freak? <laughs> Beats me. Maybe he's from the circus. Well, back home I'm pretty popular. Especially around some circles. If you know what I mean. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, surrender now. Whoever I am? Did you even listen to a word I said? We have the intruder. Don't stand there with your smeckle in your hand. Shoot that freak. Oh, fine. But I'll have to make it a quickie. Captain Rainbow, away! Look out! Oh, no hard feelings! Oh. What the hell? At least for a little while. Ah. What are you shooting at? Get out of the way next time! <laughs> How can I get out of the way when you're pointing the gun at me? Oh, look at the guy! Intruder was last seen entering Corridor 12. Guess we have to look for it anyway to kill it. Copy. I swear, I have to do everything myself. Release the asset. Stone Soldier Protocol activated. Oh, hi. Is that the way out? Agent in the field. You're a damn genius. Great, thanks. By the way, have you seen my friend Darth? He's tall and dark, and he has breathing problems. Shut up. Oh, you're going to need something bigger than that to make me shut up. Do I make myself clear? Oh, lighten up. Let me tell you something. War has made me very paranoid. Very paranoid. And the way you're looking at me isn't helping it. No, I have I like it rough. Ah! You're surrounded. What the hell? Oh, this is awkward. Surrender now. This is your last warning. Come quietly. Oh, I never come quietly. But aren't you a team? Oh, I probably should have washed that off first. Sorry about that. Anyways, gotta go. Thanks for the memories. Get the rainbow away. What's going on? That's not good. What? What? What's not good? We have lost secondary com link. Well, get it back. We might be in serious trouble. Don't tell me that. Please, just, you know, there's something I don't want to hear. Well, what do you want to hear? Anything reassuring at the moment. Let's see. You have your health. I have my health. You're not giving me much confidence. I haven't told you the bad news. Can it get worse? I'm afraid so. Uh, and, and what really can be worse? A time void. A time void. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid to ask, but what is a time void? Are you sure you want to know? Uh, I probably don't, but <laughs> I don't think I have much of a choice right now. And at this point, I think I better know everything. If you insist. But do me a favor. Uh, don't give me any of that technical mumbo-jumbo. Just give me the cliff notes. A time void is just that. Voids between timelines and realities. 
these thin strands of emptiness are woven throughout the fabric of time-space itself. Very little else is known about this phenomenon. Okay, well, let's avoid getting sucked into a time void then. Too late. Too late. Are you saying we're in a time void? Give that man a cigar. Oh, well, that's great. Um, so what do we do now? Conserve energy and hope for the best. It's pitch black out there. And if we conserve energy, it's gonna be pitch black in here. It doesn't bother me. Uh, it bothers me. Shut down in three, oh, two, one. Banger one, this is home base. Go ahead. How much longer? Just finished loading up. Got enough for about a year. All I need is a reflection drone to phase back in, and I'm out of here. Well, that's a problem. What do you mean a problem? There is a momentary energy spike, but it triggered a cascading disruption in the reflector drone's connection to the TRD. That don't sound good. Oh, well, it's not. If it appears, I'm going to need you to manually disconnect it as fast as you can. How long before he's due back? Oh, I don't know. But he's got about two minutes before complete reflection failure. Does John know this? Oh, it's hard to know what he knows. We lost all communications. What happens if he doesn't make it? Oh, well, that's an interesting question. My guess is he'll most likely experience a time void. And then it'll be a lot harder to get him out. How much harder? Um, virtually impossible. So make sure you're ready, because we got to be quick. You can count on it. Banger one out. Man, first the base alert, now this. Maybe this whole thing was a bad idea. I see you've been busy yourself this evening. About time you get here. Where's the other girl? Oh, he'll be along shortly. Could have done without the whole military escort we're about to have. But at least you got the belt. Plans don't always go as hoped, Mr. Hillbilly. Ain't that the truth? You can take it off now. Oh, I don't think so. I've grown quite fond of it, actually. We made a deal. I am altering the deal. 30 seconds! Pray I don't alter it any further. Well, you dirty double-crossing bastard. I reckon you should thank me. I could have let you rot in that dungeon. Now you're pulling this crap. Good thing I don't trust anyone. Do I look like I'm in a gaming mood? We don't have time to play games right now, boy. You hear them helicopters? It ain't gonna take them long to find us. And then things are gonna get really difficult. I'll be a distant memory. Five seconds! And as for you, that is an entirely different plan. Hey, man. <laughs> I need that belt, man. Oh, crap. It's a drone back! That's a negative, and I'm about neck deep in trouble. Oh, that's not good. Who the hell is this guy? Give me a minute. Oh, far out, man. <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't believe the trouble I had getting here. Next time, Darth, I get to wear the belt. Can't you see we're doing something here? Nothing's happening. This is the big boss battle, and you're interrupting my groove. Oh, let's not talk about your groove. I wouldn't want to embarrass you in public. Hey, man. Oh, that's a cool toy, but nobody hits on Darth but me. Take that. He probably double crossing you too, Captain. Oh, Darth wouldn't do anything like that. Would you, Darth? You'd think so, but you'd be wrong. So long, Captain. <laughs> Stony? Is that you? Who's Stony, man? Oh, crap. Everybody's got a gimmick. Nerd Eye, the cloaking device on Banger One just failed. Well, get the hell out of there. Leave John? Trust me, it doesn't matter right now. Well, I guess he's gone. Come on, Captain. We have the intruder. Bye, guys. Hurry. It's okay, I got a ride. Unless you want to be a permanent resident. Oh, I've never been in one of these. Thanks, everyone. I'm firing up the engine and we're getting the hell out of here. Oh, the seat's so comfortable. Let's go. Nerd I would left. I think I saw Stone. What? We were attacked by some enhanced individuals. That's what all the trouble is about. That's interesting. What are we going to do about John? Just get yourself back here as fast as you can. Roger. To be continued.
you are listening to a special broadcast of the John LeBang Show, in association with Banger Studios. The Adventures. Dancy. Yes, Mr. President. Have the Secret Service put an extra roll of TP in the presidential retreat. That last huge max is gonna be a big lead problem. Right away, Mr. President. I better tweet about this. Hey, everyone. Big D is gonna be dropping it big league. Hashtag stay tuned. Mr. President, Major Shits needs to speak with you urgently, sir. Send her in. What can I do to you? I mean, for you, Major. I knew it, sir. Area 420 was hit less than 30 minutes ago. Surveillance footage shows two well-armed, masked individuals breaching the southeast entrance. They went straight for the top-secret research area and made off with a highly sensitive piece of technology. Project Stone Nemita. Sounds like a Seattle rock band. This thing looks like Batman's utility belt. He's on right now. You want to watch a little with me? No, thank you, sir. Says Top Secret. This technology was found in 1947 at a crash site in Roswell, New Mexico. We believe it to be alien in origin. Oh, jeez. As if I don't have enough problems with the Russians and the old Mexicans. Now I'm going to have to build a wall to keep the new Mexicans out. Sir, not that kind of alien. I'm referring to extraterrestrials. Oh, I love extrasexual encounters. Except when I pay them to keep their mouths shut, and they don't. Huge fail. These are the images of what we believe to be the getaway vehicle of the intruders. Oh, that looks weird. The vehicle matches the configuration of one that was recovered just two years ago at the same location. Ah, that's interesting. What's truly concerning are these images. Oh, infrared. Love it. These were taken during the alien encounter of 2015. Oh, I remember that. I lost my building in Detroit. Wasn't much, but you know, neither is the city. They clearly resemble the design of the ship we're currently tracking over Colorado. Space invaders. I need your authorization to scramble fighters. Do what you gotta do, Major. Whatever it takes. I'll remember that, Mr. President. I have to say, you look better this time around. Did you do something to your face? Or maybe your hair? Aren't you being a little forward? Not really. I'm this way with all the chicks. You sure you don't want to stay and watch Batman vs. Godzilla? I'll have Ditsy bring us a few huge Macs and a diet beverage. No thanks. Alright, suit yourself. Unbelievable. Wish I could tweet about this. Mr. President, the pilot has informed me we'll be landing shortly. Oh, that's great news. Make sure you buckle up, sir. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Mohammed, you go too slow. Hmm. What do you mean I go too slow? Speed limit 45. You drive like little American girl. You want to go fast, eh? I show you. (laughs) Okay, slow down. (laughs) You almost killed us. Go too slow, then go too fast. You sound like American woman. Please, do not insult me. This car runs better when it goes fast. Look out for the dead guy. Take your funeral somewhere else. Gee, you racist. You drive crazy. They should have cremated that racist pig. Mm. Did you know him? No. Let me ask you, where did you get your license? I don't have one. You don't like my driving? Let's just say, I'm not used to driving on the wrong side of the road. (laughs) This is America. Everything is backwards. Mohammed, don't hit the little old lady. Get out of the way, Grandma! Well, that was close. See? There's a pothole. Where? Right there. Oh, damn it. Oh, I told you about pothole. You did not listen. On Monday, I called the city to complain. That is a good idea. Here's the keys. Go and Trump. Get Jack. I'll make Booby do it when he get here. This is beautiful. Up your racist nose, lady! 
Ah, huh? stupid. Oh, I got flat tire. Park the truck in front of the car. Then help Boris change tire. I have to back up. Then do it. Praise me, my brother. Uh, stupid. Okay, back up. Back up, movie. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, stop. Stop, booby. Oh, I said stop. Is that close enough? Yes, that's, that's good. Now hurry up. We don't have much time. Hey, Boris. I'm busy. Isn't that that racist pooping dog? Looks very similar. That's what I thought. Get out of here, you racist pooping dog. Get out. Go poop somewhere else. Get out. Go. Go. What do you want? Is everything on schedule? We're running a little late, but don't worry. Everything just fine. It better be. I've gone to a lot of trouble to make this happen. There cannot be any mistakes. Do you understand? I know what's at stake. Good. Did you give me the money? Checks in the mail. Hurry up, guys. We're going to be late. Hey, Mohammed. What? Where? Isn't that your nephew? Hmm. Must still be looking for that racist dog. Should I tell him which way it went? No. We don't have time. Booby, let's go! Mohammed, look what I found. Uh, what is it? Coupons to taco slot. We could get late night snack. After we all done. Good idea. Come on, get the truck, Booby! Come on! Any luck locating the temporal signature? That's a negative. Oh, I was afraid of that. What's our next course of action? Well, I've got a plan that has no hopes of working, but we'll try it anyways. What's the plan, sir? We're going to deploy a temporal homing beacon. Working? Unable to locate design feature and schematics? Well, that's because they're not there. We're going to have to build it. Don't you think it's a little late? Oh, no. Let me explain. If we magnetize the beacon and then launch it into the time void, in theory, it should attach itself to the only thing that's metal, which should be the reflection pod. That's crazy. The odds of the beacon randomly located and then attaching itself to the pod is astronomical. Give me a number anyways. Over 999 trillion to one. See, there's a small chance that'll work. Why didn't you design the beacon initially? Oh, well, I didn't think of it. I'm sure you did your best. Okay, let's get to work. We're in hardware mode. Acknowledge. Aw, oh, crap. No thanks. Keep it down. Home base, this is Banger 1. You copy. What do you want? I'm kind of busy right now. Well, I hate to bother you, but I can't get the cloak working. You probably need to reset the system. How do I do that? Oh, simple. You just need to cut the power to the ship for five seconds, and then turn everything back on. Well, that's not going to be an option at the moment. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be intercepted and or engaged by military fighters real soon. Well, then don't bring them here, because it's not a good time. Better initiate the no-cloak scenario. Uh, no-cloak scenario? Uh, could you fill me in on what that entails? And quickly? Well, that means you're going to have to outfly them until you can reach space. Could you repeat? You're going to have to fly into space. You mean outer space? Well, what other space is there? Well, I guess you got a point. When you get there, you can reboot the system without having any worries about enemy fighters. You want me to reboot in space? That's a Roger. Okay, 10-4. Banger one out. Better buckle up, Captain. This might be a little bumpy. Do you have a place I can plug in my vibrator? On your left there. Oh, thanks. One question, Captain. What's that? Have you ever been to space? Hmm. That depends on what you mean. Forget it. Just don't throw up in my ship. Team, just a quick reminder. The President's plane is arriving soon and he'll be taking Terminal 3 to his motor game. So stay sharp and look good. Remember, we're up for a budget and that means raises for everyone. Raises my rico o' What's a schmeckle? I 
can't tell you. That's against agency policy. How come? Because you're a female co-worker. What does that have to do with the schmackle? Just forget I said anything. You got a quarter for a homie down on this luck? No. How about a penny? Not even a penny? Keep on. Hey, Slim, keep it down. Come here and check him out? Hell no. You might find something on him, and then we'll have to arrest him. Shouldn't we arrest him if he's a vagrant? Are you for real? I remember reading that somewhere at the academy. Do you know how much paperwork there is when you arrest someone? Nah, I skipped that class. Trust me, it's too damn much. Has anybody seen a doggy? After a few arrests and all the damn paperwork, you try not to arrest anyone unless they're killing someone. And even that's iffy. I had no idea. I thought we arrested everyone. Not anymore. What are you, doggy? Hey, man. I ain't gonna stab you or nothing, but I seen a dog. Oh, you did? When did you see him? That's the problem. My memory ain't so good. And I have a hard time thinking without some financial assistance. So, if you have a dollar... I can do a little remembering. Or if you got ten dollars, I can remember a whole lot of things. I'm sorry, but I don't have any money. Oh, you're broke like the rest of us, poor folk. Just don't be hanging around here too long. This is my corner. So go find your own. But where should I go? I don't care, man. Just quit bothering the people around here. That's my job. Now get the hell out of here before I call the police. Hand me another beer, Leroy. Okay, here you go, Shady. Yeah, I told you, Leroy, they don't stand a chance against Godzilla. All right, fat lady, let's see what you can do. It's fat woman to you. Whatever. Mooi, mooi. I'll get some. Oh, look at that, Uncle Shady. Settle down, Leroy. Settle down. I'm watching too. I can see it. Yeah, I'm going to sit on your foot. Uh Uh-huh. Now you can't walk. Oh. She's not fat woman anymore, Leroy. She's flat woman. Get him! Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. All right, fabulous. Your turn next. Got it all. Take this, you dastardly beast. What's happening, Uncle Shady? Well, the end of the world better be happening, Leroy, if they're cutting off Godzilla. We have got breaking news. The president's plane has landed at Detroit Metropolitan oh, Airport. There are protesters somewhere around really? here expressing their displeasure with the president's Put policies. Put Godzilla back on. And if we find some, we'll be sure to report it to you. This is Susan Lennon reporting for Vulcan Sound Radio. See, she heard me, Leroy. Now back to your regular scheduled programs. This is Officer Riggs. I need emergency assistance. Please send backup pronto. Riggs, where are you at? Raj? It's me, Riggs. Terminal 3, men's lavatory. I'm coming, Riggs. Let's go. Hurry, Raj. Command, this is 1 Adam 12. Don't wait for me. Requesting backup. Terminal 3, officer in need of assistance. Cadet Fufu and myself are in route. Copy, 1 Adam 12. Attention all units near Terminal 3. Officer in need of assistance. Security Supervisor Roger is on route. Riggs, we're here. I wouldn't come in here, Raj. What's the matter, Riggs? It's bad, Raj. It's bad? Can you elaborate on it's bad? It's the biggest bomb ever. It's huge. Damn. And it's about to blow. Hang in there, Riggs. I'll try, Raj. All right, rookie. Call dispatch and tell them that we need the bomb squad down here in a hurry, and I'll cordon off the area. Roger. What? What what? You said my name. I did? When? Just now. Uh, I don't think so. Just call dispatch. Roger. See, you did it again. Did what? Forget it. I'm too old for this. This is 1 Adam 12 requesting a bomb squad, please. Copy that, 1 Adam 12. And you might want to send a shrink along, too. The old man is hearing voices. All right, everybody. Get back. Man, I got these cheeseburgers. You too, Slim. You got a quarter for a homie down on his luck. No, I ain't got no money. But if you give me some money, I can start drinking again. Listen, there's a bomb in the toilet, and we don't want anyone getting blown up. So back the hell up. Hey, thanks for nothing, man. Dispatch is alerted to the situation. And what did they say? About what? I don't know. The ETA of the bomb squad? ETA? You're on the force and you don't know what the ETA stands for? I must have missed that class, too. It was a busy year. (sighs) I'm too old for this. 
It stands for estimated time of arrival. Is that a due date? A what? I blew past mine with all three of my kids. Is any of this relevant? Only if I miss my next period. What about the bomb squad? What about them? When are they going to get here? Oh, I didn't ask. You want me to call back? We don't have time for that. We're going to have to do this ourselves. You ready? Ready for what? To go in there. Who, me? Who do you think I'm talking to? Well, that's the men's restroom. So? I can't go in there. Sure you can. We're cops. We can do anything we want. Now get in there. What if the bomb goes off? What do you mean if the bomb goes off? If it goes off, you're going to get blown up. I don't think I'm trained for this. Well, think of it as on-the-job training. Now get your ass in there and get killed like the rest of us. False alarm, Raj. Want to get a coffee? What do you mean, false alarm? I thought I would need more TP. More TP? Constipation is a bitch. Damn it, Riggs. I got the bomb squad coming and everything. And you said it was an emergency. I'm sorry, Raj. You want me to go back in there and try again? No! Dispatch, this is one Adam 12. We've got it all clear. Tell the bomb squad to forget it. I'll let them know. We've got company. I hope my hybrid is fully charged. This is Captain Stephanie Rogers of the United States Space Force. You are in violation of U.S. airspace. Identify yourself. Well, Captain, looks like it's going to get hard from here. Why you got to talk dirty? Hang on. I repeat, you are in violation of U.S. airspace. Change your heading to 0911. I reckon they're trying to lock their missiles on us. You know, that reminds me of Darth, but he called it a saber. And boy, did he lock on. Thank you, Ryan. Can we do that again? Do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, I know what you mean. It's always hard to concentrate when I'm thinking of Darth. Banking left. Whee! This sounds good. Let's see if they can go vertical. Hang on. You are clear to engage. Roger. They're still on us. Engaging booster. Oh, crap. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh. Excuse me, is this stall taken? Yeah. Oops, I'm very sorry. I'll use the next one. I'm camel frogging so bad. Oh, I just made it. That was a bloody long flight from London to the Windy City. Someone's having a laugh at my expense, Bunty. It is a long way, eh? I thought flying by Concord it would only take a couple of hours. Reverend Concord is no longer flying. Well, how on earth did I get here then? By boat? Uh, by plane, Reverend. You got a quarter for a homie down on this luck. Bro, you're tripping. Thanks for nothing. What is that damn dog doing? Get down, will you? Whose dog is it anyway? The dirty thing is peeing all over my leg. Oh, oh, it has a wicked look in its eyes and frothing at the mouth. I'll give it froth in the mouth when I kick it between the legs. Oh, here's my doggy. Four. Oh, slow down. Control your dog, man. Control it, I say. Bloody nuisance. Sorry, man. Hey, puppy! You never know what animals have experienced. They don't speak English. I've had enough of this. I'm calling 911. The line is busy. Doesn't anything work here? Might as well be on Mount Everest. But there are many people in America and only so many phones. That's it. Get him, Godzilla. Yeah. Breaking news again. We've got more breaking news coming out of Detroit. Oh, man. It appears that something's happening inside the terminal 
where the president was located. We don't care. The information is sketchy at the moment, but we could speculate that he's finally eaten one too many huge Macs and killed over. We cannot prove or disprove this at the moment. So we'll have to wait for now. Thank God. The latest in breaking news. Oh, we didn't miss Susan anything Rana good. For Vulcan Sound Radio. Now, what the hell? First the breaking news, now I got phone calls. Everybody's trying to ruin my Godzilla experience. This better be important. Is that 911? No, this is Willy Wonka, and you're calling the Chocolate Factory, and we're closed. So bye. Who is that, Uncle Shady? I don't know. A new Baluka. You calling the 911 hotline? I'm here to help you. Is that 911? That's what I said, sir. Oh, it is. You got something scary going on in your neighborhood, sir? I'd like to make a complaint, so listen. You like to do what, sir? Listen. I'm trying to listen, sir. Stop being ignorant. Ignorant who? Don't interrupt. Sir, I'm just trying to help you. I'd like to make a complaint. How do you spell that, sir? What do you mean, how do you spell that? I did not fly all the way to the Windy City to be treated in such an appalling fashion. I'm sorry, sir, but you ain't in the Windy City. Not in the Windy City? Well, where am I then? Well... Speak up. The Arctic, perhaps? Nope, not there. Tibet? Not there either. Wouldn't surprise me if I'm in Australia. No, sir, you're not in Australia either. Oh, is that the same as 999 in England? No, Bunty, because we're not in England. Or the Windy City, apparently. We could be halfway up Mount Everest, for all I know. Sir, if you just let me explain, you're in Detroit. I see you're calling from the airport. What's your emergency? Some damn dog has been peeing all over my leg. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Is it bad? What are you going to do about this terrorist act? Oh, there's a terrorist act? Hold on, sir. I'm going to get the manual and see what it says here. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't pay taxes to put up with this kind of behavior. Oh, I understand that, sir. Just give me a minute. Uh, you don't pay taxes in this country, eh, Reverend? No, I don't. That's not the point. I almost got it pulled up, sir. Just another second here. What are you going to do about it? Well, according to the manual, sir, it says we're going to send a car right over. Well, make sure you do. I'm not getting any younger, you know. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, sir. We'll be there right away. Thanks for calling 911. Bye. to call for some help. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Now I told you we were closed. Hello Shady, this is Abu. What the hell do you want? Um, well? Listen here, I'm trying to watch Godzilla vs. Batman and you're interrupting my enjoyment. Um, I need some help. Well, we all know that, but I'm not a therapist. Why don't you call the Dr. Bill show and stop bothering me? No, no, I'm chasing a doggy. You must have stopped at landing strippers. I used to go there myself. Oh, no, no, I'm at the airport. Oh, I've seen a few dogs there, but I think you'll have better luck at landing strippers. Listen, I came home, and I wanted to play with the doggy, and then it got away, and I had to chase him, but I still can't find him. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll get Leroy for you. Leroy, phone's for you. Um, who is it, Uncle Shady? Listen, it's another dog lover. Hello? Oh, hello. Could you come to the airport and help me find the doggy? Well, how'd he get there? He escaped. Okay, I'll be right there. Um, I gotta go to the airport, Uncle Shady. Can I use the car? Yeah, I don't care, Leroy. Just don't forget to put gas in it before you come home. Oh, breaking news again? We've got I can't believe this. Out of Detroit. It appears that you know what? Forget it. The Hang on, Leroy. I'm coming with you. Um, you are? Damn right. If I can't enjoy my Godzilla movie because the news keeps breaking in, I might as well go see what all the hoopla is about in person. But you're going to miss the ending of the movie, Uncle Shady. Not if we hurry up, Leroy. You want to drive? Hell no. I'm going to call the radio station and complain while you're driving. What's that going to do? It's going to make me feel better, Leroy. Now let's go. Is there always so much walking? Only when something happens. Mostly we're at the donut shop drinking coffee. Dispatch, we're here and everything looks normal. Do we have an ID on the witness? Some guy with an accent. That's helpful. What do you want from me? I don't work for 911. 
Do we have a make on the perpetrator? Subject is described as a canine. Dispatch, did you say a canine? That's correct. What's a canine? It's a dog. Think you can handle it before the president moves to his motorcade? 10 4. Now I'm a dog catcher. I'm too old for this. Come on, you two, this way. Hey, Geek. Make him brief. I'm in the middle of something. Where the hell are you? Oh, down here. Relays adjusted. There's the shoes, Uncle Shady. Now, how'd you fit in there? Oh, don't ask. Well, I was just letting you know that Leroy and I have to go to the airport. Ali Dumbo let the dog loose, and the president's in town. So while they're looking for the pooch, I'm going to watch all the crazies. And I thought you might want to come. No, I don't have time. Well, suit yourself. Program uploading. What the hell kind of contraption are you building now? A temporal homing beacon. Um, what's that, Uncle Shady? I don't know, Leroy. Do I look like a mad scientist to you? Oh, no. Direction finder, engage. It's for locating and retrieving things lost in the time void. Geek, you need a hobby. Have you tried porn tube? Leroy seems to like it. Uncle Shady. It's not like it's a secret. Do you guys need anything else? Because I need to concentrate. Since you asked, I got one more question. Attaching magnetic interface. Why are you building it? Maybe because you lost something, Uncle Shady. Leroy's correct. Well, it must be important, because you're going through a lot of trouble. So what the hell did you lose? Oh, I lost John. Leroy, did he just say John? Uh-huh. That's what I thought he said. I've been having a little trouble with my ears. Thought I maybe had to clean them out. Telescope adjusted. Wait a minute. You lost John? Um, that's affirmative. How the hell did you do that? Well, we were conducting an operation. Hang on, hang on. Just forget it. The less I know, the better, in case the cops come looking. We gotta go, Uncle Shady. Listen, just get him back, because I don't want to have to take over his show. I'll do my best. What the hell? This is weird. What's that? <laughs> Scare him. You did. I always knew you were soft in the drawers. What is this? Boy, don't you know a vision when you see it? A vision? Where am I? Hmm. Cross the barrier, you did. Worse things are now. <laughs> if she finds out, all hell's gonna break loose. <laughs> and it ain't gonna be pretty. Go, you must. Go? I don't even know how I got here. Just get the hell out of here. Bye bye. Wait. <laughs> hey. Go, go, go. Wait. Anyone for tennis? <laughs> what about him? I don't know. Let's go see. By the way, I love you. Looks like we got a live one. You watch him while I call Raj. Hey, Raj. I think we've got those terrorists here in front of gate 13. I'll be there in a minute. Roger. What? I mean 10-4. Excuse me, sir. Are you with the terrorists? What did you say? I'm I want. I'm only going to ask you this one more time. Are you a terrorist? No, I'm not a terrorist. Are you sure you're not the terrorist? Because we got a call about terrorists. He hasn't got both paddles in the water, that one. I don't see any water. Let me write this down. Claims he's not a terrorist and there is no water anywhere. Suspect has no credibility. What do you got, Riggs? I detained this couple. I thought they might be the terrorists we're looking for. I hope too. Not much. It's the dog that's a terrorist, not me. I think he's lying, Raj. The report did say a dog. How can a terrorist be a dog, Raj? You know, I don't ask questions anymore. That just gets us in trouble. I guess you're right. Now which cop have you been playing? The good cop or the bad cop? I don't know. A little bit of both. Now I told you, you gotta be one or the other. Well, I got confused, Raj. What if all other great cop teams did it your way? I never thought of it. It would be like Starsky and nothing, Turner and nothing, Lethal and nothing. And what kind of action team is Lethal and nothing? Sounds like a silent fart. If you two are done talking about silent farts, we've got a job to do. Oh, zip it, rookie.
What kind of dog was it? I thought it was a terror. The dog's a biological hazard bunty, if you ask me. Where did you see this dog? Running about on its own, or it seemed to be to me. That's comprehensive. Well, you're free to go. Right. Well, I'm out of here. Where's the nearest pole dancing club? Not far at all. Just down the road. You can't miss it. It's called Landing Strippers. Come on, Bonte. Right, hey. They've got a great happy hour special, and there's a girl there named Monica. I think she dated Dr. Bill or something. I know. I used to work there. I thought I knew you from somewhere. Yeah, didn't I bust you a time or two? You look familiar to me, too. But I thought it was Timmy Holes. Worked there, too. You sure do get around. I know. How do you think I got this job? Keep it down. I'm calling dispatch. 1 out of 12 to dispatch. Copy, 1 out of 12. Looks like another false alarm. We're heading back to our posts. Tell the Secret Service we'll be ready to move the president shortly. As today's events continue to unfold, we have some more breaking information. The terminal's on lockdown and we can only speculate what has happened. So let's go to the phone. Mohammed, Shady, you're up next. hurry up and find the space. I need to go to Are little boy's to room. Huh? There's no toilets in the parking structure. That's okay. I'll go behind the car. Hmm, good idea. May I join you? Please, don't be gay. Huh, don't worry. There's a good spot there. I see. Hold on. That was a beautiful park job. I should be in Hollywood. Yes, like Steve McQueen. Hmm, no, like Dirty Harriet. Okay, let's go. I don't care! Hurry up, booby! Praise be, my brother! Mohammed, look! It's raining cats and dogs! Boris, not on the back of my car, please! Oh, I'm very sorry. I was just having a little fun. Oh, my back teeth are floating. Mohammed, look at the rainbow! Boris, don't cross streams! It was fun, just like Ghostbusters. Ah, uh, damn it. Phone. Who is it? Stupid woman Q. Hello. Change of plans. Scrap the assault on the terminal. Don't tell me your check bounced. Too much security. Hmm. I'm not refunding your money, so you better have another plan. There's always a plan B. Hit the motorcade. What do you mean, hit the motorcade? I mean, hit the motorcade. Attack it. How would you like it? With bazooka, grenade, rocket launcher? We got it all. By any means necessary. I understand. Boris! We leaving! Booby! Booby! Load everything back up, Booby! Change of plans! What is this new plan? Oh, I tell you on the way. Here, you drive. Let's go, Booby! Come on! Mr. President. What is it? I'm in the middle of a toilet tweet. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Oh. They've informed me that they're ready to move to the motorcade, sir. Well, tell them it'll be at least five more tweets until I'm finished. Right away, sir. And did see. Yes, Mr. President. Tell them I'm still waiting for that extra roll of TP. Immediately, sir. Ah, that gives me something to tweet about. Hey, everyone. Big D here. Dropping a D in the D. Hashtag, Mr. Hanky says hi. That was a good one. Banger one to home base. Banger one to home base. Wonder why they're not responding. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Dark does it to me sometimes. It just means he's busy. Banger one to home base. Banger one to home base. Do you copy? Go ahead, banger one. What the hell took so long? Oh, I told you I was busy. Just letting you know we're about to shut down. Just make sure you're strapped in. Remember, you're in a no-gravity environment. Oh, sounds kinky. Roger, on strapping in. I'll contact you as soon as we're underway. Home base out. All right, preparing to shut down, Captain. When I do, things might feel weird for a few minutes. Oh, I'm used to that. I don't think I needed to know that. Oh, don't worry. I'm open about it. Shutting down in three, two, one.
Look at that. Hell of a sight, ain't it? I haven't had this much excitement in a long time. It sure been a night. This is much more romantic than Darth ever was. Okay. And he totally gave up experimentation. <clears throat> I guess that's long enough. Come on. Are you out of gas? I think this needs a tune-up or something. I don't know what's the problem here. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> what the hell are you doing, boy? Oh, nothing. Just playing with my eyebrow. We'll stop it. It's distracting me. Would you like to try it? No, thanks. Are you sure? Please, Captain. I don't have time for this. Did you come up here to take advantage of me? What? Well, it's okay if you wanted to. Hell no. Thank goodness. Phew. All right, we're all turned on now. Oh, you ain't kidding. Powering up. Phew. Rustler's at the ready. Can you turn on the air? Engaging cloaking device. Oh, it's getting really warm in here. Thrusters at the ready. Oh, now you're talking. Engage. When are they going to get here? Clear. Hey, hey, Lynn, give me a dollar. I'll take a dime. Secret service is ready. Yeah. Hey, Slim, get lost. Clear. Here they come now. Big D in the house. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. This is Major Shits. She's the head of our space force. Pleasure. And this here's Dancy. She's my se uh, secretary. Oh, hi. This is my partner, Officer Riggs. And this is... Oh, I used to work for you, Mr. President. I don't remember the boot. I mean the face. I worked at your casino until it exploded. Oh, I miss that place. You had the best all-day suckers. I'm sure we could find you a lollipop, sir. Uh, that would be great. Sure we can. Does anyone have a lollipop? I'm trying to think of one will stick in my head. Shut the hell up, Riggs. I have to take this. I'll meet you there, sir. Mr. President, you'll be expected to say a few words to the press before you leave in your motorcade. Here's a prepared statement, sir. Don't worry about it, Dizzy. I know just what to say. This way. Hey, everyone. Glad to be here in the D. Rhymes with me. See you all at Landon Strippers. My friend Ken Ding Dong's gonna be there. Dr. Bill, too. We're gonna have a great time. I'm also gonna do a speech and use the best words ever. Now we gotta go. No more questions. All clear. Proceed to motorcade. Copy. Right this way. Hey, everybody. Let's get together. Yeah. What? Canadians are people, too. What's their problem? I don't know. Oh, I see. It's Bernie. Hey, Slanders. See you at the debate. Hope you're ready. Mr. President, take a load off. Love the choice in the ride. Thank you, Mr. President. Looks like a traffic jam, Uncle Shady. Yeah, everybody's trying to get in to see the president while he's in town. I hope the dog's okay. All I know is there's been a lot more trouble than it's worth. I didn't let him out, Uncle Shady. You know when the dog is loose what they do. No, I don't know what they do. Same thing you do on Pawn Tube, Leroy, but with other dogs. What? Never mind, Leroy. Just let me off here. Okay, Uncle Shady. I got my phone with me, so once you find that dog, just give me a call. Hey, stupid! Tis a road, not a sidewalk! Listen here, buddy. This is America. If you don't like it, get the hell out. Boris, run him over! We don't have time. Uh, you're right. You lucky old man! Listen here, buddy. You're number one. What do you got over here? Yeah. Are you talking about some or are you talking about your JJ? We're, we're, we're all in. You understand? We're all in. You know what he means. I'd like to get into some JJ myself. Hey, honey, how you doing? No, not you. The pretty one. Later, butterflies. Hey, man. Yeah, who do you think you are? I ain't gonna stab you. Well, you better not try it, buddy. I'm packing a 9mm semi-automatic. You don't have a dime for a former alcoholic? Man, you ain't a former alcoholic. You're a drunk that ain't got no money to buy beer. Hey, man, thanks for nothing. Hey, 
Shady! Oh, Shady! Shady, Shady, look, look! Hi, Shady! Thank you for coming! Have you seen the doggy? I'm not here to help you find the dog. That's Leroy's job. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's parking the car. Well, can you help me look? Tell you what, I'll help you look for him if you go this way. I just came from that way. I didn't see him. Listen, if you don't want my help, then you can go any way you want. I'm going this way. I've been searching all day. First I ran down the street, then I ran by landing strippers, then I came to the airport, I ran through the bathroom, out of the bathroom, chasing the doggy. Listen, is this story going to take long? I don't know. Maybe. Well, if you're going to keep talking, I'm going to go for a walk. But we are walking. I mean away from you. Did you know that doggy ran so fast? Maybe you just run slow when you are wearing a dress. I'm going to need a long nap after this. You think there'd be more security around here with the president in town? Section 6 all clear. I bet you five bucks that's the president's call. Oh, you think so? Well, there's a secret server agent. Let's go ask him. Copy. I- excuse me. Do you hang out with the president? Sure do. Is that the president's call? Yeah. Told you that was the president's call. Let me ask you something. Is he in there right now, getting freaky with some naked women? Bro. Sorry, that's probably top secret. Must be Bowen just standing around all day. Godzilla vs. Batman is on right now, and I'm missing it. I know what you mean. The damn news kept breaking in, so I figured I'd see what all the action was about down here. You know, it's been quiet in the neighborhood. A couple years ago, there was the alien thing, and then we had the fairy incident. And then my ex-girlfriend started hanging out with them mystery freaks. But I don't want to talk about that. No, please don't. Great job. Hey, Jean-Claude, remember me? I met you in Las Vegas. We had a toilet talk, remember? Oh, see you next time. All right, no problem. I know you're busy. I had no idea Jean-Claude was protecting the president. Makes you feel good. It does? How come? Because Jean-Claude's a badass. If you want protection, there's only two things better than John Club. Oh, really? What's that? Oh, that's Chuck Norris and Godzilla. Come on, Raj. Ah! What the hell? Now we got some action. <sighs> Not too old for this. Oh, look at this. Boris, you drive like an American woman. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, uh, excuses, excuses. You want to kill us? Mm, yes. Hold on a minute. We talk here. Mohammed doesn't look too bad. Little spray paint and it looked just like new. Hurry up, booby. Let's go. We haven't got all day. No, no, no. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'd like to see your license, dirtbag. <clears throat> Boris, you got license? Only in Mother Russia. <clears throat> he does not have American license. Who is this guy? We're cops. <clears throat> Like Dirty Harriet? I try to be. Hang in a moment. Come on, Bo- Booby, hurry up! All right, rookie, call dispatch. Get down. This is one Adam 12. We've got a little fender bender here. Some Come idiot on. crashed into a light pole, and now we have a downed wire. Copy that, Come one Adam 12. Raj, you know how to fill out one of these? I used to. By the way, did you ever get hold of that shrink? Dr. Crackpot was fired for insensitive behavior towards people who identify as invisible. Hurry up! That's a thing. Apparently, stripping naked and doing the Cupid shuffle in front of people who can't see you can get you canned. I won't be doing that anymore. 10 4. Look at the time! Yeah, what's a hold up? There's been an accident, sir. It'll only be a minute. Now, give me something to tweet about. Booby, you ready? I think this is another drill. Not on your life. Boris! Ready to go. All you racists, listen closely. Some people call me a terrorist. I prefer a freedom fighter. We've come for your president. Give him to us and nobody gets hurt. You and what army? You're tripping. We'll never give up the president. Oh, be quiet, lady. This is man business here. Are you talking to me? Yes, nobody asked you. I don't let my own wife talk to me like this. Am I allowed to shoot this guy? I don't somebody know. Somebody shoot her. Kills them. Kills them all. Run for life. I'll kill you. Get the girl. What do we do? I don't know about you, but I'm getting down. Command, this is 1 Adam 12. Copy, 1 Adam 12. Officer in need of assistance. It's still enough time. Is this another false alarm? Hell no. Prove it. I'm too old for this. Come on, Booby. Don't shoot with that little gun. Get something bigger. Everybody go bang, 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 and you go beep, beep, beep. Guess this was better than Godzilla. Leave it. Hey, can you guys keep it down for a moment? My nephew's calling. Ooh, Booby, don't, don't just stand down. 
Hello? Oh, Shady, I hear gunshots. Hey, look out, man. You almost hit me. Yeah. You know, it's probably not a good thing to come down right now. Stay the car and I'll meet you there. Just a flesh wound, Raj. Now I'm pissed. This was a new shirt. Bonus, use the bazooka. We're gonna get blown up. Come on, booby. We don't need that. Boris, what's taking so long? I'm watching tutorial. Kills them all. Good play, Carlos. You were right. I need a drink. You're the police. Why don't you do something about this? Just do it, booby. What's all the noise about? Hey, Donald. Nice to see you again. Remember me? I'm Shady. Oh, another one of these. Just make it quick. Gotta make a speech soon. All units, we have reports of shots fired. No bull! This isn't helping the situation. Let's just shoot him, Raj. Follow me. I'll cover you. You ready? Can I come? Hurry, Raj. Let's go! Girl power! Lava! Look back, partner. Girl power! Susan, pick him up! Oh. He's dead. Nail them both. Deader than my ex-wife in bed. Get the big gun! I'm in pursuit. Hands in front of you. Face down. Let me see your hands. Shoot them! I'm shot! I'm hit! I need to tell a woman to do a man's job. Bottom! Bazookas ever get! Dancy. Oh, Dancy, look. Dancy. Oh, Dancy. Hang on, Mr. President. I have to make a quick phone call. Oh, jeez. I might have to eat about this. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, look at another one dead. Hello? Can I speak to John, please? It's an emergency. Oh. He's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Oh, don't give me that. I know he never goes anywhere. They're dropping like flies. Hmm. Who is this? This is Dancy. Now, give me John. Oh. I told you. He's not here right now. What's the emergency? Listen, Four Eyes, tell John if he doesn't get down here right now and save us, I'm going to be really mad at him. I'll stop listening to his show, and I'll quit the team. And another. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. Oh, that's huge. What's your location? Oh, in the back seat of a limousine, sitting on the president's lap. No, no, I mean... Dead. Where are you at at the moment? Don't you watch the news? Oh. Oh, no, I'm... I'm been distracted with another emergency. We're at the airport test tube, boy. Oh, there goes Jean-Claude. He was my favorite. Oh, what a coincidence. We've got team members there now. I'll inform them of your situation. Dancy. Coming, Mr. President. Oh, Dancy. I've got to go. All right. Bye. Uh, bye. Simulation complete. Data confirms initial computations. Oh, that's good. Prep it for launch. Acknowledge. Oh, phone again. Um, hello? Oh, Nerd Odd, this is Leroy. Oh, that's funny. I was just gonna call you. Dizzy's at the airport and needs some help. Can you guys pick her up? I'm calling for help, too. Up the city asked me to call and get Wilbur to come pick us up. Oh, I wonder what's happening. I think there's some kind of terrorist thing going on at the airport. Oh, well, that makes sense. I'll give Wilbur a call now. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Eh, busy, busy, busy. I think my next project's gonna be an AI receptionist. Home base to Banger 1, do you copy? Reading you loud and clear. We've got another problem. I need you to head over to the DMA. Ditsy and the guys are in trouble and need you to pick them up. Ditsy? Thought she was with the president. What kind of trouble are we talking about? Oh, I didn't have time to ask. If you need more information, I guess it's on the news. The news? But I gotta get back to saving John. Home base out. Well, looks like we're gonna have to make a quick detour, Captain. Oh, I'm always up for a little side action. Good, because I reckon we've been pulled into something big. Just the way I like it. Boris! Boris, go see who's not dead. It would be my pleasure. Come on, come on, get out of the car. Oh, that's not good. Trust me, you don't want to try to get that. Come on, come on, you two. Let's go, let's go. Who do you work for? You fight out soon enough. Bring him over here. Let's go. Go, go, go. You too, Blondie. Don't get fresh. I didn't like you in the 80s, and I don't like you now. Hey, watch where you hit me with that gun. The new suit. Get the move on. Go. 
I'm gonna fire some people as soon as this is over. Hopefully not me. Don't worry, Ditsy. You sat on my lap when I needed you to. That's what I'm here for, sir. Why so serious, Mr. President? Eh, yeah, Major. Starting to think you don't like me. What's this all about? I don't reveal my plan so easily. And what's with the Halloween getup? You look like a reject from Batman vs. Godzilla. It's Godzilla vs. Batman, sir. Eh, whatever. I'm not a comic book villain. I am burdened with glorious purpose. Oh, I have a special purpose too. Tried to show it to you earlier, but you weren't interested. You remind me of my father. Oh, really? I hated my father. Daddy issues. Maybe you prefer sugar daddy. Neil, everything you've built will fall, and from the ashes will rise the new world order. I stopped talking to AJ after the election. What you got to do with that fake looking cattle prod? Instruct him in the matters of pain. Make him suffer. Ooh, if I wasn't getting paid, I'd feel sorry for you. You look nervous. Uh, what are you gonna do with that? Oh, we can't do this. No, no. I don't make you uncomfortable. No, not that. Do I? You love hurting men, don't you? Nothing wrong with a woman taking pleasure in her work. Well, as long as it's not me. Mohammed, look. They did a job shooting. Ah. There's just us two and your cousin Boozy. Ah. Too bad. Where is he? He's over there. But not for long. Trust me. You should see the hole in his chest. Look very painful. Oh, that's too bad. At least we get bigger cut of money. Yes, that's a good thing. You. Uh, ah, yeah. oh, look what you did to it. It's all burnt. This is personal. Can't we make a deal? Do you seriously think you can talk your way out of this? Excuse me, can you help us out? We were looking for some dirt bags. Have you seen any? Boris, I told you to blow this woman up. And look at her. She's still in one piece. Who would have known she was impervious to bazookas? I kill you myself. <laughs> that. Looks like you're having trouble with your gun. You're right. I know what you're thinking. Am I out of bullets? Are you? To tell the truth, in all this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. Who is this sleep? I told you, dirty idiot. Some cheap rent cop with ugly hair. You're gonna die for that. Bang! Huh? No bullets. Listen, bitch. I don't have time for small talk. You're probably asking yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? I'm a genius, military decorated social justice warrior. You're nothing. I'll bitch slap you. <laughs> you have heart, no. but do you have skill? <laughs> Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? Is your girlfriend ugly too? You want some more? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ugly now? Boris! Go set up cameras! Drop that. <laughs> I want to put this on Gutu! You're so OP. Yeah. Oh, beautiful idea. The cunning warrior attacks neither body nor mind, but strikes at the heart. <laughs> Looks like it's down to me and you. You take the guy with the head scarf. I'll take the Russian. Oh, that's my uncle. I can't fight him. That guy's your uncle, huh? You know, after this, we're gonna have to talk about who you family with. It's not my fault. Are you sure you should take the Russian? Because he looks pretty big. Well, I know you know. Is that some kind of imaginary friend? Because that ain't gonna work against the Russian. No, no. It's like karate. Listen here. Ain't nothing good come out of Japan except cheap electronics and Godzilla. My ex-pimp hit harder than you. <laughs> yeah! I'm really getting good at this job. Hurry up, Boris! Come on! Bitch, you lack training. Uh, uh, uh. I have a great responsibility that you couldn't possibly imagine. Stick this in your responsibility. Uh, uh, uh. Why won't you die? Uh. Do you think you can handle it? Prove it. What do you mean? Right now? Yeah, right now. What, by myself? Listen here. I ain't going out there until I know you can take him. But I need to stretch. Stretch? This ain't the Olympics, buddy. This is a street fight. But I don't want to pull the muscle. Well, hurry up and stretch then. Could you speed it up a little? Okay, now I must breathe. Breathe? 
Yes, breathing is essential. <laughs> it's sad, but we might be in some big league trouble. I wouldn't worry, sir. I called in some backup. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> Go ahead. <Hi> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mohammed, I'm very <laughs> sorry. Just knocked out your nephew. Oh, just leave him there. He'll be fine. <laughs> Don't move, buddy. Your nose bleeding. <laughs> You might feel lightheaded and lose consciousness. Yeah, I knew it. You know, it's a good thing I brought a gun. All right, everybody. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. I'm not out of bullets. So I suggest you chill out before I put a cap in every one of your asses. And don't think I won't do it. Because I'm here to save the president. So it doesn't matter how many of you I kiss goodnight. The president's going to pardon me. Ain't that right, Mr. President? Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah. See, everybody heard him. That should stand up and call. Who could be bluffing? This ain't poker, buddy. You want to try a little Shady's Russian roulette? Nah. Excuse me, ladies. Could you stop fighting for a moment and listen to what I got to say? Nah. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Now's the gay squad this here. Oh, I love the name. Do you mind if I use it for my next team up? Oh, jeez. Anyone need a lift? Another one. You better have a good explanation for this here, Billy. Because nah. I'm getting a little nervous right now. I'm straight, Shady. How disappointing. Just thought I'd bring some backup. Nah. Excuse me, ladies. Could you please stop beating the hell out of each other for five minutes so we can settle this? Because I'd like to go home and see the ending of Godzilla vs. Batman. Thank you. Mohammed, looks like a tie to me. Now, if you don't mind, move your ass over here so I can see you better. Okay. Now, where was I? Stank. You were threatening us. Yes, with bullets. All right, thanks. No problem. You had one simple job. Don't give me that. Nowhere did you plan for this. Not in plan A, plan B, or plan Z. Oh, that's my plan. Listen, we did best we could. What would you have done? Get it done. Get it done? Fine. I'm done right now. Come on, Boris. I'm fed up with this lady. I quit. Goodbye, Q. Good luck with your, uh, whatever you call it. You're not getting your deposit either. You're Q? Stupid. Oh, I read about you on it. Who? That's a world famous Q. Everything she says happens. Listen, Willie. Willie. I'd love to stay and help, but it's a pride thing. Had a great time. Call me later. Captain Rainbow, away! <laughs> What the hell was that about? I'll tell you later. That'll be an interesting story. What do we do with her? I know things you people wouldn't believe. Bitch, please. <laughs> what the hell, Shady? What? <gasps> What's your shoulder? Well, she talked too much. Fine. We're covered, right, Mr. President? We'll blame it on Hillary. <laughs> Excuse me. Can somebody untie us? Think I'm starting to lose my circulation. Hey, dummy, get off the ground and go untie them. Who, me? You don't see any other dummy laying around, do you? Oh, uh, no. Don't just sit there. Go untie the president. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. hello, Dizzy. Oh, Abu, you tried to save us. Eh, who's this guy? Oh, that's Abu. He's my boyfriend when I'm not working for you, Mr. President. Uh, why didn't you tell me about him? Well, it's not official, sir. Oh, what do you mean? It's not official. Just hurry up and untie me. I'm trying, I'm trying. Do you want my help? No, oh, hang on a minute. Hello? Uncle Shady, I found the dog. Oh, damn it. All right, well, probably best you just head on home. We'll meet you there. Okay, Uncle Shady. That dog's gonna be the death of me. We got about two minutes before we got a whole new set of problems. You know, Dizzy, you could have handled this all yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. With your secret weapon. They're called bionic boobs, and I don't whip them out for everyone. You got bionic boobs. I do, sir. See, I didn't even show the president. Well, Mr. President, I'd like to stick around, but if your friends show up and we're still here, we're going to have to answer a whole lot of questions we don't want to. So as the governor would say, hasta la vista, baby. Wait, I could give you a job. Thanks for the offer, Mr. President. But we're the team you need, not the team you want. I reckon you said that backwards. Oh, shut up. He knows what I mean. You come, Dizzy? I think it's best to stay here. All right, so keep your mouth shut. I'll help her with that. Come on, stupid, let's go. Wait for me. Wait. 
Oh, I've been running all day. The Adventures. Oh. Yeah, fire. No. Told you I would, Dizzy. You did so well.